my black here with my July update for Spanky, also known as Lance and Light C. And in this update, I'm going to walk you through his first novice, which was at the beginning of July at Lockmoy Farms in Maryland. And um, yeah, so here's his beginning of his dressage test. And I did include the whole dressage test, so um, bear with me, it is novice, but I was just so pleased with both boys, I figured I'd put the whole thing in there. So, um, if you've been watching, you'll notice that I have him, um, back in the jump saddle, which I, his first event, um, in June at the beginner novice level, I actually did have him in the dressage saddle, um, but I figured that, um, I put him back in the jump saddle, you know, as young, big moving four year olds, it gives him a little bit more play way for me to get off of his back. And, um, you know, until he's really accepting of that, I think it's, it's nice for the young horses to not have to, um, carry the rider's weight in that dressage saddle until they're ready. So he'll let me know when that is. And at this point I'll keep playing around with it at home. But, um, as I had said in, in Petey's, um, update if you've already watched that one uh, for those of you that don't know you know these these one day events everything's done in one day so um, Spanky was first to go at probably 8 10 in the morning maybe and you know so we get to the show at about 7 30 put his tack on and get right on so he's um, he hasn't you know had much time to acclimatize here and this being their um, second event, and it's at, it was at the Big Lockmoy, so you can see in the background there's a bit of tent set up from the FEI classes going um, the previous few days, and so even though this is Sunday and, and a bit quiet quieter, there's definitely still things things going on, things to look at, and um, so overall it's just a great experience to get these young horses out to different venues and um, getting them comfortable in, in the show atmosphere. And as you can see, I was, um, you know, I'm just kind of working through this dressage test. Again, it's a novice test, so basically just walk, trot, cantering and um, trying to stay in the arena, but also trying to make your figures as round as possible, keep their focus on you, and um, getting them to go through the paces in a free flo forward flowing way, which is what the judges want to see. So, um, you can see here, he's, he's, he's a lovely mover and he's a pretty cool color. He's a, he's a really dark, dark gray right now with some different little, um, spots on him and has a beautiful, even though his tail here is already a little dirty from the footing, his, his tail is like bright white. So it's a, he's very attractive when he's, um, not going through the mud, but, um, anyways, he's a pretty cute horse, and I've really, really enjoyed working with both of them. He's has quite a bit of personality, and is just, he's such a talker, um, in the barn, feeding time, bringing him in from the field, even when it comes to, you know, his little whines and groans about the work, workload, or whatever it is. He's just a, he's quite a character, so... I love that in a horse that um, isn't isn't shy to express themselves, especially when they keep a bit of a lid on it, so <laughs> that it doesn't come out in too many crazy antics. But um, you can see there, he he really did all the things that I could have could have asked him to do at this point. You know, again, just turning four years old. So next up, show jumping, not too long after, and. Um, He's becoming quite a quite a fun horse to show jump. Um, I've been working. Um, you can see here I have him a little bit stronger bit than what I did last time. I've been trying to figure out what what works for him, and this was um, this was definitely too much, even though it was a rubber um, rubber pelham and a really short shank. It was it was definitely a little too much for him. But 
um, we got through it and uh, got through the cross country as well. So just working on trying to get him to be a little bit more balanced going up and down the cross country hills. And so that's why I opted for this. But um, and then again, in this in this shorter format, you kind of have to go straight from one thing to another. So you don't really get to change tack very much. So anyways, um, live and learn and just we'll keep playing around with it as he gets a little stronger and gets a little bit more training under his belt. I don't think it will really be a thing either way. You can see he's actually very responsive and he's very careful at the jumps. He's, he's quite studies them and he jumps well. And, and I'm really looking forward to keep producing him for as long as I get to. So um, overall, again, this is you know, his first novice and a lot of different atmosphere and a lot going on here. And you can see he just really went in the ring and, and went to right to work. So um, really couldn't have been uh, more happy with him. He gives you a great feel over the fences and, and he really wants to try to do the right thing, which is really all you can ask from a four-year-old at this point in his career. So anyways, next on to cross country, here's a few snapshots and um, some of the different jumps that he had to jump out there. I included um, this is the first first jump on course and and again this is going back to where I really don't like to hurry the horses again he wants to come back and study those that first fence and when horses want to slow down and think about things um, as long as they you know get going forward again afterwards I really don't mind that and so you can see how again back off that drop I let it come back to the trot and then um, this is now about halfway through the course and um, you can you can really just see how he's building on confidence as he as he goes and um, that's something that I don't I don't like to rush them past their confidence at the beginning as long as I sit up close my leg he's uh, more than welcome welcome to come back and, and trot any of these novice fences so anyways it's been a hot summer and here's some of the fun things that we've been playing around with he's he's quite a character I love playing, taking them down to the creek mm -hmm. and, and just playing around with them and just letting them be, you know, young baby horses and enjoying life. So um, he's he's a lot of fun and, you know, working with him on the rope and taking places and learning to ground tie or and or graze is always something that is super helpful to have in your repertoire for the future. Thanks for watching.